Hi, and welcome to Window Cleaning Dude. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about poles. So just starting off in window cleaning, uh, poles are something that every window cleaner should have, and although you might not use poles all the time, depending on what type of window cleaning you like to do, uh, you do need to have some poles in your arsenal of tools. So if you're going to be doing storefront, you definitely got to have poles. If you're going to do commercial, you're probably going to need poles for that too. And then for residential, you don't have to use poles all the time, but there are instances where you're going to want to use poles. Now some people, they like to clean with poles all the time, no matter what they're doing, whether it's storefront, commercial, or residential. I personally like to be up on the glass, uh, right on the glass, so I like to use ladders, whether it's a step ladder or a 16 or a 24 foot ladder. I always like to be right up on the glass. I'm not a pole person, but every window cleaner is different and you need to have all the options available. And even though I just like to use ladders as much as possible, I still have poles in my lineup of tools uh, because there are instances where I really do need to have a pole. So first I'm gonna go over a uh, uh, basic pole here. This is probably uh, the first pole I'd recommend. I don't know if I can show it all here on camera, but this is a six inch pole, uh, six, six foot pole. And this is um, a nice pole to have if you don't want a telescoping pole, but you need to get that extra reach. Now there are times when I use this pole even up on a ladder. Uh, I used to have a 28 foot ladder, but I stopped using the 28 foot uh, when it broke and I went to a 24 foot because the 28 foot is a little heavier and when you're um, moving a ladder around a building all day long, uh, that extra weight adds up. I didn't usually use my 28 uh, to its full extension that often, only if I was cleaning like a three story. I no longer clean three stories. I just, I prefer not to go three stories on a ladder. I just think it's a little dangerous, especially when you're leaning out over the side, cleaning a window. I just always found that to be really sketchy. So I decided to no longer clean three stories. So even though a 28, could, 28 foot can still come in handy on a two story, almost all two stories you can do just fine with with a 24 foot. But on occasional two story, there's a window that might be extra high and that's when I will bring the pole into play. So I'll go up the ladder and then I'll use the pole to get that extra reach so that I'm not up on the top rung of the ladder, you know, trying to stretch to get something. You don't want to do that. You want to be safe. And so always be safe on the ladder. And if that means you have to use a pole, then use a pole. Now there are instances where I'm down on the first level and maybe the window is a little higher, but it's not really high enough to warrant bringing in the 16 foot ladder. And it's still too high even if I'm on a step ladder, or maybe it's something that I want to just get really quick, or maybe there's like too much stuff in the way to even bring in the 16 foot ladder or my step ladder, then that's where the pole will also come in handy. So every house is different, every business is different, and you just never know what you're going to need and what, what situation you're going to find yourself in. So make sure that you definitely at least have a six foot uh, pole if you don't plan on doing poles at least have a six foot pole I used to also have just like a two foot pole uh, it was made of wood I don't recommend getting wood I don't have that pole anymore but when I first started out I got it and I would use it to just get that little extra reach especially when you're first getting used to being on the ladder and you're, you're kind of scared I mean I think it's just a natural thing for me anyways to be a little hesitant when you're on two-story ladder and you're leaning out to the side you got one foot going this way and one hand going that way and until you get used to that feeling and your balance and feeling secure into what you're doing uh, it's nice to have a pole <laughs> so i would have a two foot pole for that on occasion if the window was really big and i i didn't want to have to keep moving my ladder uh, i would use a two foot pole so you might think about that uh, but chances are it's only going to be made of wood i don't have yet to see a metal two foot pole uh, I guess you could possibly cut one of these down and just move the end cap down. That might be a good option there. Uh, but the wood pole will warp over time. I eventually lost that pole and just got rid of it. So the next pole, uh, this pole I bought when I landed my first mansion. Uh, it was like a $3,000 mansion job that I landed. And they had these really high windows on the inside that I knew I didn't want to bring my ladder in. I wasn't even sure if my ladder was going to be tall enough. It's an extension pole, uh, telescoping. Uh, actually, this isn't telescoping. Uh, that would be my water fed pole, but um, you basically twist it, it comes out, and uh, there I got four sections on this one. Uh, it was an $80 pole, and I know it goes three to four stories high. I don't really know what the distance is on that anymore. 
it's been so long uh, since I <laughs> bought this pole. Anyways, you just the, the point is is that you want to have poles uh, for different reasons, for different situations. You know, with the mansion when I was cleaning this, this was I, I bought this because I really didn't want to bring in my 24 foot ladder and try to get these windows that were like super high, on a super high vaulted ceiling. I mean, the person had like a it was like a three story going on four story vaulted ceiling. I mean, insane. You know, who has a house like that, right? And that was the place where, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, they had this wood floor that they didn't want to get any water on because it was from this old ship from the 1800s. So I thought, you know, the last thing I want to do is bring in my ladder. It's going to be dirty. It might have some water running down it possibly. Who knows? And so I just thought, well, it's going to be easier just to buy this big, long pole and I can just clean the window that way. And so that's what I did. And it came in really handy and I'm glad I did. It was well worth the 80 bucks. I mean, when you're doing a $3,000 job, what's 80 bucks on uh, some equipment that's gonna help you get your job done the right way. Uh, and so it was worth it for me. Just starting out, I wouldn't recommend buying a pole that costs 80 bucks just to reach something like that, but definitely buy the six foot pole or a two foot pole, but definitely gotta have the six foot. Uh, and then the other kind of poles obviously are like if you're doing a water fed pole, that's gonna be a telescoping pole. And it's kind of like essentially similar to this, except for it has little clips and you can just slide it and then lock the clip down, clamp the, the little clip down. So you're gonna have poles there at the water fed pole. Um, that's an obvious. Uh, the nice thing about the water fed pole is then going up the pole is a water line and the water comes out and you can just wash the window standing down below. So that's why people love poles. They don't have to get on ladders. They can keep, some people can clean really well and really quickly uh, with a pole. So you're gonna to need to purchase some poles, buy the six foot, buy a two foot. If you can't find a two foot, uh, get a five or six foot pole and cut it down. Lastly, the thing I guess I wanna talk about is that when you get your pole, you're gonna to need to get the cone pole extension, which is basically a little plastic uh, extension that goes on here that doesn't have the threads, but it will thread onto this. And that way you can then take your squeegee and your washing wand on and off this really quickly, including uh, your scraper. And then also um, a duster. So this is a duster. Um, this is nice. You can put this on the end of your pole. This one actually will go on the end of a, a pole cone. This will go on the end of a pole cone. That's nice for getting cobwebs and stuff like that that your customer may want you to get. It's also kind of a nice little add-on service, I guess. There's another add-on service that you could throw into your window cleaning service. It's not something that I put on my website, but I have had customers ask me to get the cobwebs and that makes it nice and easy and they throw in like, you know, an extra 20 or whatever, give you a little extra cash there. And so you can use a pole cone for that or it also screws on. Okay, so if you like the poles that I've shown you here in this video, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below as to where you can find some poles like this online to purchase for your business if you're just starting out. Also, if you go over to windowcleaningdude.com, I'll have a link there. Also, to some of these polls, you can find out more information there. And there will also be links to all the other products uh, and gear that I recommend that you have if you're just starting your window cleaning business. Uh, there'll be links there to places online where you can buy those products. Uh, also, if you enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up if you found this video useful. Uh, please subscribe to this channel and be a part of my window cleaning community here and show YouTube that you do find these videos worthwhile. That really helps out my channel. Um, also, ding that notification bell for upcoming videos and don't forget to comment down below for anything else that uh, you wanna talk about in terms of polls or window cleaning in general. And I will see you in the next video.